Finley, and after the business of the Yorkshire Cup last week, Leeds back on the stones, a bit of championship trail, and a game that they must win. Well, Kingston Rovers come here after a mixed start to the season, but a tremendous win at Salford in the first game, lost heavily against Widnes, and of course were defeated in the Umberside derby in the Yorkshire Cup last week. And for Leeds, two really important games in the next four days, which could really decide at this early stage how the first half of the season goes. A lot of talk at Leeds has been that a lot of new players coming together have not really gelled, and I've got one of those players with me today, unfortunately injured in the first game against St. Ellen's. We've got Gary Murky. Uh, welcome, welcome, Gary, to Edinley. And um, just what do you think? Is it a crisis here already? No, no. I, I think you can't write us off. It's, um, it's early doors yet. Um, I look at it um, that the team's got to gel, like you said. And um, obviously, if our, our forwards have really got to perform today, especially against a side like Hulk Howe, because they're a very enthusiastic side. So what are we looking for today is a lot of foundation in the forwards, so therefore we can use our backs. So it really emphasises a lot on the forwards, because our forwards haven't really been you know, hitting our straps at the moment. So as soon as we get they going, them going, we'll be away. Well, we've had a good signing this week, and New Zealand international. You've played with him many times. What difference will Kevin Arrow make to the Leeds team? Oh, yeah, I think he'll make a great, great big difference. You know, um, for experience out in the back line there with Craig Innes, because Craig Innes is by far going really well. So um, once Craig and Kevin combine, I'm sure they're going to be very lethal. And how long do you think you'll be out on the injury front? I, I'm looking hopefully um, in three weeks' time, and I'll see how my jaw is after that. And um, I, I hope to be ready in three weeks, hopefully. OK, well, you'll be hearing more from us and more from Gary as the game goes on. Eight is at full-back. Vince Fawcett, Carl Gibson, Craig Innes and Jim Fallon. Other three quarters, Gary Schofield, the captain, and Gareth Stevens are half-backs. Sean Wayne, Colin Maskell, Paul Dixon. The front three, Mike O'Neill, Mick Waddle and Andy Goodway make up the pack. John Gallagher gets a recall at substitute. And Steve Malloy is the forward substitute. And for OK, they line up with Mike Fletcher. At fullback, Graham Cook, Mike Bibby, Paul Lyman, Bright Sodji. Of course, no Graham Hallis, he's still in dispute. Wayne Park and Phil Windley, the halves. Chris Harrison, Lee Richardson, Craig O'Brien, the front three. Andy Thompson, Paul Fletcher, Paul Speckman. Julian Barkworth and Sean are the substitutes in the referee today, Mr. Colin Morris. So, Gary Schofield and uh, players just switching ends. And Wayne Parker back in the old KR side had a disappointing season last year with injury. One of the brightest young prospects in the game won the Albro Shooting Star Award a few seasons ago. And of course Leeds lacking. Kevin Ido signed this week, but not fit to make his debut with a lingering ankle injury. So that means the backs, and as they were last week, against Unslip. So Mike Fletcher gets the game underway. Gareth Stevens finds Mick Waddle and Mick Waddle hesitated there. He's took that pass, just pass not straight to him. Fawcett coming inside, looking for work. That's a good run there from Vince Fawcett. Dixon scored a tremendous solo effort last week against Tunslet. Knocked three men off on his way to the line. And Schofield now he'll patrol the hill. Field today, Sean Wayne and Innes in support there, and he couldn't get the ball to him. Mike O'Neill. So Maskell finds Alan Tate, and Alan Tate, all the time in the world to put that chip over. The Leeds chases all downtown and all offside, and Sodji bags the pace, bright Sodji. And Leeds will be wary of letting him run because if he gets in the clear, He'll take some catching. But at last Leeds have got a fullback with real pace in Alan Tate. And that's offside there against Bright Sodji, so first penalty of the game goes to Leeds. And Gary Schofield will look to put the ball in the touch deep in the whole Kingston Rovers half of the field. Just finds a good touch. And Colin Morris just making sure that the loose ball is uh, kicked away and Leeds have got a line here and a move on. Sean Wayne. And again, that's good driving in there from the prop. Stevens. Fine Schofield. Oh, good ways. Switching the loose forward today in the absence of Eleanor Hanley. 
McLevel. Schofield again now. Oh, and a lovely ball there for Mike O'Neill and Leeds support slow coming up. Schofield again. It's a long cut out ball and Keegan is kicks on. Oh, and a good tackle there from Jim Fallon. Cutting out the counter threat from young Mike Bibby. Harrison. It's Chris Harrison, his brother Des not playing today. He's got to figure in the first team this season. Oh, and a lovely ball out of the theatre, Speckman. And Leeds cover coming across. And Windley, always picked up for the bargain fee of nothing. And they don't come much cheaper than that as uh, from Scarborough Pirates. Very experienced Phil Windley, played a long time at Hull. And he's now making it tick. So Gary, forwards just testing themselves out in the first few minutes? Yeah, it's good. Um, it's good to see our forwards hitting the advantage line, so um, hopefully we can pick on that for the rest of the game and we'll go forward. Thank you. So Gareth Stevens there with the scrum. Colin Morris not happy. And Gareth Stevens goes himself there. Windley coming round the blind side, pulling him down any good way. Leeds looking for the quick play of the ball. Catch Rovers back pedalling. Dixon. Oh, well clamped there. By Andy Thompson. That's good good play from Old Kingston. Keeping that ball tight there. No chance of Paul Dixon releasing the ball. And Maskill kicks for touch, that's good kicking from dummy half, difficult to kick from dummy half and perfectly placed there. That's one area where Leeds have been lacking this season in the kicks for touch. Not really come at the right time, that was a good kick there and relieved a lot of pressure and puts Leeds some 40 yards back upfield. So Winley then with the first okay half feed of the afternoon. That's out for Paul Lyman. He's a loose forward in his days at Featherstone Rovers and most players uh, make the journey up to the pack but uh, Paul Lyman who's played a lot in the centre for all care. And a good solid tackle coming in on Craig O'Brien. Speckman's long ball, that's a lovely ball there to Lyman, Lyman coming inside. Well police there by Gary Schofield, covering across well. Speckman's kick, straight for Alan Tate there, and Alan Tate's counter attack. Windley up quickly, snuffing it out. One of the bright spots of the lead season has been the form of Alan Tate and this man Craig Innes. A revelation in the 13 aside game. Gibson stepping. Trying to make ground. Shot ball there for Mike O'Neill. Knocked on there. And the touch judge is on in the fence. So that'll be another penalty to Leeds. And number three might be the offender. Obstructing the player without the ball. So again, Leeds have this chance to make progress deep into old KR territory. So move on there, Dixon. Stevens. Oh, that's good way there, but... Andy Thompson, Speckman, just bringing him down there. Again, Schofield now with the ball in his hands. That's a lovely ball out to Dixon. Dixon finds Fallon, and Fallon couldn't take that pass. So. Well, Scumble form again. And Colin Morris just making sure the players are level there. 
And the first penalty of the game for Hulkingston Rovers at that scrum. Feed up. And Mike Fletcher usually places the um, ball when he kicks for touch and he'll be kicking up towards our position. Harrison. Long ball to O'Brien and O'Brien almost stepping out of the tackle. Windley again. Thompson. And Thompson, slide of statue, a bit like uh, McNamara at a hole. All action player, move on there. Drop down, that's Fletcher. And again. Wayne Parker in support and up to the last tackle and Leeds dropping back deep. And he kicks across the field for Vince Fawcett and he lets that bounce. And Pollers off Sodji, that's good running there from Fawcett. And Schofield will bring this ball away from acting half. Goes himself. Powers away there, he's got men with him, shows the ball to Alan Tate, dummies and that's a head-eye tackle there. Gary, there seems to be a lot of problems this season with these head-eye tacklings. Just can you clarify the rule for us? Well, I don't even know myself. I mean, um, last game against St Helens where I broke my jaw, there's a lot of high tackles and a lot of them were missed. So um, hopefully the refs are going to pick out what is a high tackle and what isn't a high tackle. Now, um, there's been a few tackles, you know, in the game so far that um, I, I look as good hard tackles but uh, the ref's calling them as um, head eye, so, you know, we've got to get the interpretation right and then we'll be away. McGill well, leads there. Cardin loaded at that tap penalty, not um, letting the ball, releasing the ball from his hand, so that's a scrum. And it puts Ulkea on the attack. Mike Fletcher. Been a great servant of Ulkingston Rovers, Mike Fletcher. Always kicks his 100 goals every season. Harrison again. Speckman again. It's a straight, good, straight, strong run there and well policed by Mick Waddle. Windley. Thompson there. Parker. Puts the chip through, and that's for Vince Fawcett, and he picks that up. He was in bright, sodgy threat there, and clean piece of work there from Vince Fawcett. Alan Tate now. And a good enthusiastic start from Wilkinson Rovers, keeping Leeds pinned down here. Good run there from Sean Wayne, that's good. Leeds constantly striving to make that advantage line. Schofield, short ball there for Dixon. Dixon's looking to offload, Maskill, that's good play from Leeds. Keeping the ball alive, Sean Wayne. And Maskill again, kicking from acting half. This time he doesn't find touch, sends Mike Fletcher's Kareem back deep into his own quarter. And Waddle and Maskill up quickly there. O'Brien. And Colin Morris just checking for offside, keeping leads. A good five metres back. Oh, that's good play there from Okay. And Bibi away in space and he's turning leads inside out. That's good. Covered in from Gary Schofield. Speckman now finds Parker. And this lead sliding defences across for Wright Sodji. Oh, and a good tackle there from Fawcett. Well, first bit of real action, Gary Hulkea putting some pressure on there. Yes, Hulkea doing well, but I'm, I'm really impressed with um, the Leeds defence. We worked on defence throughout the week because it's been our letdown the last couple of games and um, the guys are tackling really well. 
Leeds winning the result in scrum. Mike O'Neill. Schofield again now, a long ball, that's out for Carl Gibson, he's got Innis with him. And Carl Gibson always likely to be the man, Fallon now with some space. Coming down that touch line side. And a good tackle from Wayne Parker, that's a good run there from Fallon. Alan Tate, quick play the ball. Innis, finds Schofield, spinning the ball leads, Gary Stevens. Brings it back inside, spots the gap, Schofield in support, this is better play from Leeds. And Dixon couldn't take the ball there and that's gone to ground and Rovers quickly countered attacking. there from Fort Speckman. That what's the referee decided. That that's a penalty to Leeds. Playing in an offside position. So again, Leeds have a chance to uh, put some pressure on Old Kingston deep in their territory. Been playing 15 minutes, still nil-nil. And Schofield's kick this time. Finds touch 30 metres from that Ulkington Rovers line. Maskell takes the tap. Fawcett. Trying to use the fend there. Wayne on a dummy run and Mike O'Neill. Well policed. Schofield moving that ball about. Dummy and going himself, Schofield. Could be a tie here for Leeds. Andy Goodway is in for the first tie for Leeds. In fact, Colin Morris says that pass has gone forward. So disappointing there. Well, a good move there, Gary, and just spoke with a forward pass. Yeah, it's good that um, we're just playing basic football out of our 22 and halfway, and when we are getting in there half, we're putting things on, and it's great. Great to see. So Leeds, first real chance there. Picked up by Bright Sodji, the ball, shooting backwards from the scrum, and it's a welcoming committee there. Three players bringing Sodji down. Harrison again. O'Brien, that's good running from the youngster there. Hitting that advantage line and making ground. Windley. It's uh, Paul Fletcher. And Wayne Parker's kick. We'll send uh, Alan Tate skidding back, in fact the bounce of the ball ensures that Alan Tate doesn't have to go anywhere at all. Fawcett in the middle of the field, looking for work. And again, that's good play there from Fawcett. Raskill spots the gap, goes himself. Schofield will use their backs, Mick Waddle in the centre position. And Gibson. Schofield again, he's working well this afternoon. Stevens, that's a lovely ball there. And Stevens spots the gap, goes himself. Alan Tate. So Rovers in possession then. With Harrison and and he's coming across there and wrapping him up. Andy Thompson brought down. Play just in the middle of the field. Richardson spots the gap there from acting half. Makes good ground. And moving that ball out, Speckman. That's a lovely ball there, and that's given to Sodji early. Sodji is well policed there. Inside ball there's for O'Brien. And the sixth tackle coming up. Parker puts the eyeball up. Fletcher's offside. Alan Tate, superb take there from Alan Tate. Gibson picked up bodily and dumped to the floor as he seeks to bring that ball away from the touchline side, the danger area. 
Good way, just spinning round in the tackle. I think somebody here with the blood bin. Been playing 20 minutes, still nil-nil. So, uh, Speckman going off. For treatment in the blood bin. And Sean Ho, I think, will be the player coming on. So, good way with the ball. Sean Wayne uh, picked up bodily and driven back two or three yards. Stevens, fine Schofield. Gibson, oh, the ball put down there. Just took his eye off the ball, Carl Gibson, and again, Rovers in possession. Harrison. A play just outside the Leeds 20 metre zone. Rovers with a move on here with Windley. Switching inside for Fletcher. That's Mike Fletcher, the fullback. And again, we chips over. This is for Sodji and Fawcett. will have to be alert with Sodji on that wing today. And that's the third time he's taken those little chip throws. Alan Tate. Suspicion of a spear tackle there. The crowd certainly thought so. Maskill trying to get away again. That's good tackling from Old Kingston. Keeping Leeds pinned down there. Schofield takes route one which is a kick and that's spinning and Mike Fletcher's having to chase that he'll pick that up just inside his own half Schofield up very quickly and a good tackle there from Gibson Sodji finds Paul Fletcher and Fletcher driven back there and finally wrestled to the ground that's good tackling again from O'Neill and Wayne Harrison looking to offload that ball and well clamped by Mick Waddle. Mick Waddle probably having his best game for Leeds so far this afternoon. He's done a lot of tackling. And again there, Waddle pushing him to the ground. That's good play. Parker. And again, Waddle again. That's three tackles on the trot there from Mick Waddle. Windley kicks. And again, Vince Fawcett on patrol, picks up that ball. Alan Tate. Oh, there's acres of space now for Leeds. Tate will go himself, pumping men off. That's a good run there from fullback from Alan Tate. Innes looking for a quick play of the ball. We'll find Andy Goodway. And again, in his, this time Gareth Stevens and Schofield. Leeds bringing that ball, Mick Waddle, Gibson. Gibson slipped there as he came inside. Sean Wayne, that's good play there from Sean Wayne. Doing a good driving work of a prop there. Schofield will put the kick in. And that's straight to Mike Fletcher. Good tackle from Craig Innes. And again, Fallon there. That's good tackling from Jim Fallon. And the penalty's going to come there, not allowing him to play the ball. In fact, the penalty's gone to Leeds. They're walking forward, so... Mr Morris, you know, the approval of the South Stand contingent. Gary, I've been very impressed with the yardage that Sean Wayne's made this afternoon. Yes, I think Sean Wayne's having a very good game, along with Mick Worrell. And the rest of the Fords are doing well. I've been very impressed with Vince Fawcett out on the wing. He's done well out there. Dixon. It's a run-around move that's brought Leeds a couple of tries this season. Schofield goes himself there, but well policed. Sean Ho up quickly. The substitute. Waddle will play the ball and he'll find Gareth Stevens. Stevens looks for the gap himself, spinning round in the tackle, can't get the ball away. 
Waddle again. Waddle just slipping out of the tackle, but the second attempt, cover bringing him down. Stevens falling over as he caught that ball. That's good play, Schofield again. The long ball's out to Fallon. Fallon's going for that corner. Oh, that's a great try from Jim Fallon. That's a tremendous try from Jim Fallon. So the first Leeds try for Jim Fallon. 124 minutes. Gary, tremendous long ball and a great finish from Jim Fallon. Yeah, I was very impressed with Jim. I thought he might get bowled out there, but he showed real power and strength. And I, I'm telling you, he's going to be a good player once he gets a few more games under his belt. And Mike O'Neill then collects the restart, goes straight down that touchline side. Sean Wayne. Schofield again, missing Tate out, Tate acting as a dummy runner, Mick Waddle running onto that ball. Schofield. So the kick that's put everyone on side, in fact Wayne Parker picks up and runs straight into Andy Goodway. Play just inside that Rovers half of the field as Addison taking play up there to halfway. There you go, Brian. Oh, that's good play from Maskele. Quick to spot the run around and the long pass. Paul Fletcher. So up to the last tackle. Alan Tate just allows that ball to hit his legs and trapped it there with the aplomb of a footballer. Soccer player, should I say. Fallon coming inside now. Running across the field. A good run from Fallon. Gibson will take the play of the ball and use Andy Goodway. Andy Goodway just still feeling his way, I think, after that long 12-month layoff. Tremendous athlete, and when he's fit, Schofield finds Tate, gives Tate space, Innis. Oh, and Innis is away, that's good play, and the Fallon's with him. Innis turning him inside out there. And Innis couldn't get the ball away to Fallon. That's cost Leeds a try. Just clamped there around his arms, couldn't get that ball away. Stevens' his pass finds Schofield, lovely long ball, and Leeds coming away with Alan Tate. It's out of force it now, has he got Bryce Sodji to boot? Well, a good tackle coming in there from Sodji, and a man not noted for his defence. So we're up to the last tackle, Leeds pressing strongly, Schofield tries to chip over. Kick dead there by Wayne Parker. Good attack. The basics in the L22, like I said before, and they're putting things on, and it's good to see that. Just a bit unlucky there, Craig sort of lost Jim there. He had a bit of a juggle with the ball at the, at the last stage, and where Jim was right on with him. But, um, you know, the guys are going really well. That's good to see, Leeds. Showing something like the true form so far this afternoon. And Mike O'Neill, I think, lost that ball in the sun. Alan Tate. Gibson goes himself, looks for the step. Yeah. So Leeds, surrendered in possession and no care, trying to bring that ball upfield with Craig O'Brien. Leeds defence working well this afternoon. Addison again. And certainly, Chris Addison and his brother Des Addison were there in the side. You never have to look for them twice to take the ball up. Oh, that's great tackling for Minis.
Windley chips over. Just push that ball forward with his toe in there and gather Stevens quickly on it. Dixon now bringing the ball away, running across field, straightening up now, he's got men with him. Tate in support as always, good support player Alan Tate, Sean Wayne. And again leads with Sean Wayne taking that ball forward. Searching for space, Mike O'Neill. Schofield, Mick Waddle. It's a lovely ball, oh, and Andy Goodways. Oh, that's good play from Schofield. Took a really difficult ball there. The six more tackles, Schofield's kick charge down. And Gary Schofield obstructed there as he could. Covered Andy Goodway. Dixon up there. Eight metres short now, Leeds. Piling on the pressure. Maskill looking for a quick play of the ball. Mick Waddle. Trying to power his way over and push back there. Three tacklers. Stopping Mick Waddle just inches short. And Maskill there. Caught at acting half back. Suspicion of offside from Mull Kingston. Headed Stevens. And the sixth tackle coming up and leads. Stuck in the far corner there, Ulkinson Rovers. Very quick. Out. Schofield finds Goodway. Goodway's got Tate in support. There goes himself there, Andy Goodway. And again, clamp man and ball. Couldn't get the ball away. That's a six tackle turnover. Oh, Brian, that's good running from the youngster. The ball's gone backwards as a referee. Richie Sanoa could in support, but he's well policed. And a telegraph pass there to Harrison. Mick Waddle just waiting to hit that man. O'Brien again, that's twice in this set of six that the youngsters brought that ball out. OK, I'm still struggling down around this 20 metre zone. And Lyman will pick up there and... That's a good run from Lyman, who's lost the ball in the tackle. Picked up by Stevens. Fawcett coming inside now. That's... Oh, that's great running from Vince Fawcett. Up to the 10 metre line, Leeds piling on the pressure. Great to see you this afternoon. Schofield. Checks. Go. Stevens shimmying, going himself. Mick Waddle. Oh, and just slipped there as he tried to step. Stevens, Schofield. Oh, and Dixon. Oh, and Dixon clamped there and sodgy in off his wing there. Fallon. He'll straighten up shortly, Jim Fallon. Finds Tate, this good play. Fallon coming off his wing. Tate finds Waddle. Leeds losing ground slightly, but trying to settle it down. We're up to the last tackle. Schofield. Ice the bomb. Gareth Stevens. Fletcher takes it, juggles with it over his line in a quick air. Leeds could be caught napping. Fletcher takes a quick tap. Andy Thompson. <laughs> Clean there from Bibby, from uh, Stevens on Bibby. So Alkingson Rovers in the leads out for the field where they haven't been for some time in possession up to the last tackle. And Gary Schofield caught offside. So Fletcher will attempt to kick at goal. So disappointing there for Leeds Gary just to be caught offside there. 
It is. Um, I think the guys at the moment are just um, relaxing a bit too much. I mean, I think they're just giving Hokka are now starting to slip the odd ball. I think the guys' defence has just died off a bit. But um, I think they'll come back into it. So not on there by any good way behind his own line, so that'll be a drop out under the post. That uh, kick not successful from Fletcher. So five minutes to half time, leads four points to nil to the good. Schofield's drop out, that's a high spinning one. Parker's underneath it, looks for runners, finds Mike Fletcher. Harrison. Play just outside the Leeds 20 metre line. O'Brien. Richardson again at acting half. We'll find Windley. The halves now getting involved. Speckman pushes off Gareth Stevens, but not the second wave of Leeds defence coming across. Lyman. And a good run from Dummy from Paul Lyman there. But up to the last tackle. Speckman, there must be something here for Hulkinson Rovers coming inside there. Took the wrong option, still keeping that ball moving. Richardson's tackled. A good bit of defence from Leeds look to uh, have something on for Old Kingston there. Good way, we'll just settle play down and bring that ball out. Ennis coming in field, looking for work, trying to take the pressure off the forwards. Sean Wayne. Oh, that's good running again from Sean Wayne. Stevens. Tate in support. Just takes a the tackle there, Alan Tate. Schofield. That's Innes in space. Innes is giving a lovely ball to Schofield and Sodji's coming across, but they won't stop Gary Schofield. Lovely ball in field from Beginnis. Tremendous support play again. Wonderful ball from Schofield. He showed the dummy. And then Innes. A lot of strength again. Beat the man on the outside. Not much room to work in on the touchline. And back inside for the ever supporting Gary Schofield. And that's Leeds' second try. Gary, tremendous try again for Leeds. It's a brilliant try. I mean, um, the teamwork there with Gary coming across there and, and finding the uh, whole cow defence sort of just draggling along. He sort of picked out the hole and he picked Jim up. And... Um, then again, you saw Jim there just bounce a player off on me so strong, and Gary Schofield, as usual, backing up and scored the try. Oh, great work there from Jim Fallon. Not much room to work on on the touchline side. Just before half time, then. Try to score field. That's his 98th for Leeds. Jim Fallon, happy today. Disappointed at Halifax and happy today. That's rugby league. One day you're up, the next day you're down. And certainly up so far this afternoon is Jim Fallon. So Maskell taking over the kicking duties from Gary Schofield. And just uh, opened his legs there, Gary Schofield. Sodji was coming across, but the line, the try line was in sight for Gary Schofield and not many people bring him down. And Maskell kicks it all, so that's 10 points to nil. And a good professional performance from the liners so far. And the penalties in this first half have gone 5-2 to Leeds in the scrums. 3-2 to Old Kingston Rovers as Mike Fletcher places that ball and gets ready to kick off again. And Maskell there, that's good thinking. Maskell alert to that. Had a lot of distance to cover, but... Gibson straightening up now. Bumping off main. Well, again, good running from Sean Wayne. Good way. It's 
Stevens finds Mike O'Neill. O'Neill looking to offload again, but Andy Thompson clamping him round his chest. Schofield seizes up the options. That's a chip over for Gareth Stevens. He just couldn't take that ball there. Eh? Schofield in support. And as that's a six tackle, it will be the turnover. Richardson. Andy Thompson, that's a great tackle again from Craig Innes. Learning all the time about rugby league, Craig Innes' defence. Fletcher, oh that's good, that's, that's great play there from Vince Fawcett. Tremendous spot tackle. And Leeds very enthusiastic this afternoon, you Gary say that we've been working all week on defence. That's a forward pass there to Sodji, Sodji's coming up, he's got Alan Tate to beat. Oh, and a good tackle from Tate there. And a knock on. And there goes a holder for half time and a very professional performance from Leeds. Well, Gary Schofield gets a second half underway with Leeds. Ten points to nil in the lead. And Graham Cook just uh, bringing that ball away. Oh, that's good tackling again from Leeds. Very enthusiastic there. In his mass kill. And Leeds sliding across. Lyman's put that ball down. So the first half penalties then went 5-2 to Leeds and the scrums 3-2 to Wilkinson Rovers. The Rovers have a change for Limp Windley. Off the field, Wayne Packer moving to scrum half and that should be Sean O. Who will have gone to six. So Leeds again, looking to move here with Schofield. Schofield finds Dixon, Dixon goes his serve, he's got... That's a tie there, straight away at the beginning of the second half. Got a tremendous tie again there from Leeds, it looked like a planned move there with Paul Dixon running out wide. Yeah, yet again, Gary's um, controlling the game and um, picked up Paul, who just had that extra bit of pace and then he went in the corner, good try. Fletcher then with the long deep kick this time for Gareth Stevens. And Waddle. Oh, and again, good running from Mick Waddle. Fawcett. Coming inside. Sean Wayne. Dixon. And again, Dixon striving to get over that advantage line, which is O'Neill. Oh, and just clamped there as he looked to offload there. Andy Goodway steaming up in support. Ball's back for Alan Tate. That's, turns Mike Fletcher inside out there, and Fletcher having a lot of work to do to pick that ball up. So leads up quickly. And tackling him down in his own quarter of the field. Good tackle from Carl Gibson on Graham Cook. Lyman. Harrison now, but Waddle's got him placed up there. And Andy Goodway. Sodji looking to go. From acting half back under the tacklers, but leads alert to that. Parker, Speckman, and Sean O, oh, down again, what a great defensive game Craig Innes is having, and Leeds coming away quickly there, Schofield, dummies to go himself, Schofield, and that's thrown back inside, Gareth Stevens in support, Dixon, keeping the ball moving, Leeds, Tate, Alan Tate will go,
a knock on there. A bit of basketball style football there. Leeds finally playing the penalty and knocking on, so Old Kingston Rovers will have a scrum. Fourteen points to nil then. As Wayne Parker feeds the ball. Fletcher. Oh, again. Just caught from behind by Kyle Gibson. Pass there from Harrison to Speckman, but Leeds had the option covered. Parker. It's a lovely ball from Andy Thompson and Paul Fletcher, but brought down. Harrison again, running out wide. Cut, dragged down by Jim Fallon. To the last tackle now, and the ball coming in field. Parker looks to kick. And oh, that's a good kick from Parker there. Fine touch just outside the 20 metre zone. Scrappy scrum there and not happy. Colin Morris. Gareth Stevens brings that ball away. That's a high tackle there on young Stevens. Oh, Schofield. Fine's touch. And Masculine with a quick tap. Looking for runners, Dixon, who steaming on there and spinning round, still standing up in the tackle. Mike O'Neill. Nick Waddle, that's a good run around there. Gareth Stevens trying to slip through. Let's go field again. To go himself there, Alan Tate's in the line. Oh, up to within 10, 8 metres now, it's better play from Leeds. Baskill, Schofield, Mike O'Neill. It's a short ball to Paul Dixon, Dixon pumping in, he's going to score again, Dixon. Well, that's his third time. In two weeks, a lovely ball there from Mike O'Neill. Well, Gary Leeds starting to put it together now and play some attractive stuff. I'm really enjoying it today. I mean, the guys are playing really well. And Paul Dixon showed there just power and strength to score a good try. Dixon. So a mass kill then. Just watch that again on the replay there as uh, Paul Dixon takes that ball from Mike O'Neill. Pumps out a one tackle and then just sees the line and has enough strength and speed again to get over despite the attentions of the tacklers. That's a typical, I would say, Paul Dixon try. Not the sort of tries he scored when he was at Halifax when he was noted for scoring 50 and 60 yarders. But now, really good solid player who will always take some stopping in the line and Sean Wayne, what a great game he's had this afternoon. Looks for Tate, goes himself. Alan Tate just picking up the loose pass. Waddle. Does Mick Waddle toured in 1984, whilst with Oldham. Sodji. Oh, Sodji straight through there, he's got Alan Tate to beat. 
Alan Tate, will he get him there, Alan Tate? That's a tie and a break, so G out of absolutely nothing at all. Well, got a leads defence just held off there and break, so yeah, I mean, he showed great pace on um, that bright side. Yeah, I didn't know he was that quick, but I mean, he, he cut through our guys pretty easily. So I think the guy's sort of defensive line was a bit ragged there, but you know, we can afford to give him one try, but that's enough. And I think yeah, we better get back down the other end. Well, individual try is always capable of doing that, bright Sodji. I think Leeds hung back there waiting to see if the referee was going to order knock on. The ball certainly came off the upper regions of Sodji's body. Once he was past that first line, he's quick enough to turn Alan Tate, and nobody's going to catch Bright Sodji from behind. 51 minutes gone then. First points of the afternoon for all Kingston Rovers with that individual try to Bright Sodji. And Fletcher's kick there. A lovely try from Sodji and Leeds. Caught napping there on the first line of defence. And we've got a substitute coming on, Steve Malloy. He's on for Sean Wayne, who's had a tremendous game this afternoon, and the applause of the North Stand crowd will tell you that. So a good time to bring the substitute on, fresh pair of legs. Schofields is picked up by Cook and Cook will try and do what Sodji did but to no effect. Speckman with his head bandaged after that cut in the first half. Sean Hall. Mick Waddle, sorry Andy Goodway and Steve Malloy in quickly there at the tackle. And Craig O'Brien. Harrison. And Andy Goodway just coming in there and having a smile. So that's a long kick over Alan Tate's head. And Alan Tate catching in on the bounce. And we'll bring that ball away and OKR coming up in droves and droves there as Alan Tate fall into the first tackler. Who's Mike Bibby? In this. I give Fallon a run. In this. It's going to get and he's through the first gap in this. Well, that's good running again from Craig Innes there. Took that ball like a second row forward and burst through the tackle. And then a referee, Colin Morris, saying that he knocked on there. So, Wilkinson Rovers will be breathing a sigh of relief about that. Leeds in a good attacking position there. Parker wins the Wilkinson Rovers' fifth scrum of the game and Schofield. Wrapping him up as he comes around the blind side. Harrison. Six more tackles of Danny Schofield kicking out at the play of the ball. Speckman. Fletcher. Al Gibson and Vince Fawcett coming across and wrapping him up there. Speckman. O'Brien. Parker. Ho. Oh. Speckman again. The Kingston Rovers. Trying to play catch-up football. I've got to throw that ball about. Richardson, the hooker. Finds Addison. And Mick Waddle has him well clamped there. Last tackle coming up now. Leeds wingers dropping back for the kicks. And Parker floats one over the top for Sodji. And Sodji offside there, said the referee. Force it. Beats the first man. Not the cover. Richardson coming across there. And Andy Goodway will find Steve Malloy. Oh, that's a great run from Steve Malloy. 
And when your substitute comes on, that's the sort of impact you expect him to make. And you certainly hope he will. Good way. Stevens. And Dixon. Cover coming across there and taking uh, Paul Dixon as he. Mick Waddle. And he's driven that ball up consistently this afternoon, Mick Waddle. And Leeds will power that ball back for Alan Tate to kick. And Steve Malloy has it for Leeds. That's a good play that came off the Elkington Rovers. Could be chase down of the kick. Schofield. That's out to Fallon. And Fallon's going to take Fletcher on the outside. And just pushed in a touch there, didn't fall on this time. But the referee says there's a knock on. So a good tackle there from Fletcher. Alan this time not having the legs. So Kingston Rovers will have this ball. 20 minutes gone of this second half now. Lyman, that's a good tackle from Gary Schofield. Beckman, Richardson, looking to go from acting half there, he makes a few yards before he's brought down by Andy Goodway, O'Brien, Lyman, Speckman, offside, that's a penalty to lead. Wayne Parker complaining bitterly there, but the player was offside when that ball was knocked forward in the tackle. And just dropped on the loose ball and appealing to the mercy of Colin Morris, if that's the right word. So Leeds well and truly in the attack now, Maskell. Steve Malloy. And Fallon picking up that ball, that's good play from... Malloy, Fallon, really strong running there from Jim Fallon. Taking play away from the dangerous touchline side, and good play by Steve Malloy. Stevens finds Schofield. Tate. He's in for his first try of Leeds, he's only a yard short there, Alan Tate. And I think when he gets over, that'll be the first of many from Alan Tate. What a tremendous support player he is. Schofield again. Waddle. Leeds trying to entertain a little bit too much, I think they're getting. Yeah, just getting a bit excited. I think they should have settled a bit more and then probably got a bit of a mood going there with Gary and um, Gareth Stevens with a runaround or something of, with the Ford running off. But um, the guys are playing really well and you can see the confidence is coming. Well, the confidence coming for Leeds, as Gary says, and that's just what we want to see at Eddie because this side full of talent. And a lot of talent watching from the sidelines. Kevin Iro, Harry Mercy. Andy Gregory and of course Hilary Hanley, the skipper. And the injury to Sodji, that's why we're waiting here at the moment. It's about 18 minutes, 20 minutes left for playing this second half. 20 points to six, Sodji's okay now. So Wayne Parker looks to feed. Well, and Morris not happy with the scrum. Sean Ho. Harrison. And that's again, that's good tackling from Steve Malloy and Mike O'Neill. Leeds defence moving up sharply there. Gibson has it for Leeds. 
An alert there, Kyle Gibson, that ball slipping out from under the tackler's body. And Gibson picking it up and trying to move it out straight away. Not content to settle it down, Leeds looking to score tries. Alan Tate through the gap again. And again, Leeds. Over adventurers. It's going to be a penalty there against Colin Maskildist. Um, slipped up down the neck region. So only the third penalty that Leeds have conceded in the game. Nuggie Lawton, who's very keen on that, will be very pleased. So Colin Morris allowing play to go on there after Leeds had knocked that ball forward. I know Kingston Road was actually losing ground, but as he said, that's the first, so they brought it back to where they would have won the scrum. Leoka Richardson struggling there after diving on that loose ball. And a knock on. <laughs> well, Leeds couldn't take the advantage and um, they'll be heading ball to the liners. And we might have to have a hold up here, Richardson, the hooker, I think that's cramp. That Rovers will... Push. Pack down with one man short, Stevens winning the scrum, Alan Tate going on the outside. Scrum 6-5 to Rovers at the moment. Jim Fallon. Shot ball for Steve Malloy. Malloy looking to make the ball available. Maskill now. Leeds will move this ball same way with Mick Waddle. Schofield again. It's on the run around there. That's for Andy Goodway. Out to Schofield again. He's got Innis with him. It's going to be a try to Craig Innis. It's a try in the corner to Craig Innis. Lovely work there from Andy Goodway. Got a good pass there from Andy Goodway out of the tackle. It's good, yeah. You can see the confidence building on the side now. So, um, you know, I'm sure the team's going to go really well in the next couple of weeks. And if we can get a few more points on the stones with a championship table, we can get it. We can get a good run until Christmas. So I'll try then to Craig Guinness. Mike O'Neill. So a difficult game this for Leeds. One they felt that they had to win. Never easy to play sides like Kingston Rovers. Full of enthusiastic hard workers. Capitalise on any team's mistakes. But Leeds have had a very pro professional performance. Just a lapse from Bright Sodji scored. But otherwise, so far, Rovers never really looked like scoring a try. And this sliding defence working to a tee this afternoon. Alan Tate just cleaning up there. Innis. Popped a few high tackles there. And Colin Morris uh, allowing them to go on. And again, Richardson struggling with cramp. Good way. Sean Wayne. And back for Alan Tate. Tate using the height on that ball there to get out. Over the top, oh, Sodji. But no way through this time. Harrison. And Gareth Stevens hanging on there. At the back of Chris Harrison as Gibson brought him down. O'Brien. Lyman, Speckman. Oh, a great, good defence there from Craig Innes. Speckman again. In. Fallon coming in field, looking to tackle. Parker kicks downfield. 
and force it now will look to bring that ball back and full of confidence this afternoon Vince Fawcett Schofield now finds Steve Malloy will the shot oh that's good running from Malloy Schofield again just stretching his legs out now Allen's ball is forget it Stevens. Tate good way leads moving the ball across inside the Mike O'Neill Wayne Sean Wayne only knows one way and that's forward and eventually the tackle is pulling him down Haskell looks to go himself from acting half back and, uh, Stuart Walker on Stevens splits the ends he goes himself Stuart Walker on attending to Gary Schofield he takes Bomb Sodji and he's coughed that one up and if he says that was wrenched out of his hands there and Schofield I think attention to a finger injury could have dislocated it and had it put back in Colin Morris play the ironic cheers as he finally spots one because according to the south stand every pass is forward unless it's for your own team and Stevens with that scrum to lead finds Schofield goes himself Schofield Gibson goes himself. Lamaske looking for runners now and dictating direction of play finds Mike O'Neill. Schofield again, good way, running out wide. That's a lovely ball for Alan Tate. Oh, that's good play, Tate again in support, showing the ball, goes himself, Dixon. To the last tackle now, that ball's back for Schofield. Schofield tries to drop. And that's wide, so it'll be a tap on the 20 metre line. And Leeds, again, just working thoroughly hard and professionally this afternoon. and Leeds in position to take advantage of that Gareth Stevens just puts the ball down but it went behind him looking to use Fallon Innes will go himself from acting half and across field confidence now in Craig Innes Leeds again will move the ball the same way with Paul Dixon ball there for Andy Goodway can't lose the ball up to the last tackle now Schofield find Stevens and Leeds running it on the last tackle Tate tries to chip over and Sodji there dangerous thing to do there with Bright Sodji lurking round Fletcher Around about 10 minutes left for play, probably just a bit less, and Leeds 
This game well wrapped up now at 24 points to six. That's a good kick again from Parker. And Leeds will have the head and ball at this scrum just outside the own 20 metre line. And very impressive this afternoon with Sean Wayne and he laid the reception at McWallow got when he went off. And good job there this afternoon McWaddle. One or two leads players starting to show the form that we know they can do. As Gary says, the confidence will start to run in the side. Gareth Stevens. Well, that's good running from the base of the scrum. Fallon. Schofield. It's a long ball out to Dixon. Innis in support. Schofield again. And just brought down 10 metres out. Leeds putting on some pressure now. Innis again. Fine Stevens. It's had a lovely long ball out to Andy Goodway. Oh, class play from Andy Goodway. Take it now. Will he score his first tie for Leeds? Yes, he's going to score. And that's a popular try, as you'll see there, for a long, long time. What a lovely try there. What a lovely ball from Andy Goodway. Gary, first of many tries, I feel, for Alan Tate. Yeah, Alan Tate's got exceptional pace and he just showed it then. But uh, it's a good ball from Randy Goodway. He brought the uh, defence across and he ran back on the angle to that one and um, he caught them all on the wrong foot. A great try. He's required at this stage of the season. Pascal converts. So 30 points to 6 leads. Needed the victory and uh, have worked hard for it. There's a lot of feeling at both at Halifax and St Allen's games that Leeds had done the hard work and really had the chances to have the game wrapped up, particularly at Halifax in the first half. But there's been no let up in that relentless defence this afternoon. I don't think Ulkins and Rovers have been more than twice in possession in the Leeds half of the field and one of the nose was when Sodji was going full length of the field. So 30 points to six. Fletcher finds Innes. And he's taking him in on up that touchline side. And absolutely no need to go in with the knees in the back of Craig Innes there. And Fallon shrugs men off. And if Hulkinson Rovers are trying to catch out the two leads rugby union converts, then they're having no success at all this afternoon. Stevens goes himself, still on his feet. Waddle. Come on, Alan Tate again now. Dixon comes back inside and slip there. Trying to make the ball available. Stevens again. It's a long ball, that's out for Schofield. Schofield switching, going himself. Find Stevens again. Oh, Mike O'Neill. Alan Tate. Stevens picks it up. Still struggling there, Leeds. Still with two tackles to go. Sodji. Trying to old man Stevens there. Schofield. Finds Vince Fawcett. Fawcett will score. That try was easy as anything, and that's capped a good display by Vince Fawcett this afternoon. Been very impressed with Vince this afternoon, Gary. Very much so. I'm really enjoying it. I mean, I'm sure the guys are enjoying it too. To get a good win like this on under their belt, they'll be really wrapped with it. A lovely work there from Vince Fawcett. Gary Schofield using the short side there and giving him the chance. And Gallagher gets a run out. In his favourite fullback position. So Lee Jorman dry at 34 points to six, and really this victory today never been in doubt. I'm very impressed with Jim Fallon. Coming in field again, Fallon. And taking some bringing down. Good way. Steve Malloy there juggling with that ball and managing to keep hold. Innes, 
finds Gallagher. And Gallagher brought down there. But quickly to play that ball. In his again. Sean Wayne. And there's acres of space for Sean Wayne to run out wide. O'Neill. Schofield's charged down. It's picked up by Jim Fallon. Fallon still going. And that's a six tackle turnover. So here come Ulkair again now with Addison. Worked relentlessly hard as Chris Addison this afternoon. Parker. Thompson. And dummy in there. Julian Barkworth using sodges of foil. Wrapped up there and Vince Fawcett uh, leading the applause. And just spilling the ball. Number 10, Craig O'Brien. Oh, and even Carl Gibson stepping his way there. Sean Wayne. So good way we'll... Uh, here's Mike O'Neill, and Mike O'Neill's brought down inside the Hulkingston half of the field, and the game just coming to its end now. Moving the ball out, Dixon. And that Stevens picks up for Leeds. That's good. Cover there from the youngster. Waddle finds Gallagher. And Gallagher trying to push me enough. And there goes the Hunter for full time. And a great victory for Leeds. By 34 points to six. Seven tries in all to force it. Tate Innes. Two to Dixon. One to Gary Schofield and one to Jim Fallon. And just the solo effort from Bright Sodges straight from the kick over. And 51 minutes goal by Fletcher from the touchline. 34 points to 16 leads. And a great victory this afternoon. And one which will take them from the bottom of the table and give them renewed confidence for Wednesday night's game at the Boulevard in the Yorkshire Cup second round. So we'll leave you then with the news from Headingley that Leeds have beaten Lukinson Rovers by 34 points to 6. The studs for the penalties. It was 7 4 to Leeds and the scrum 7 6 to Leeds, and it's been a really good all round day for the Liners. Well, look, you must have been impressed this afternoon, up to thirty professional performance. <coughs> it was a lot better, wasn't it? Um, I wish you'd have nailed them, that was what we were trying to do. And we tried to do that to Unslet, so I suppose I should be grateful for small mercies. Yeah, I thought looking at individuals, I thought Sean Wayne and Mick Waddle had tremendous games in the forwards. Yeah, I was very pleased, for, especially with Mick Waddle, because Mick, um, when he was, didn't know whether he was doing, whether he was going or Mick was not training and just thought, well, the game's finished, mate. So he's not been fit and he's slowly getting match fitness. And I don't think he'd be a bad acquisition, really. I mean, he's a big, powerful man. Well, I'm getting Mercer up on the gantry with this afternoon and he said you've been working very hard on the defence all week. Has that been the big thing this week? Well, we worked very hard on the defence and then later on in the week we switched it because at the end of the day, we've got to play as well. I mean, again, on sledge, we worked on our safety plan because we made so many elementary yellows against St Helens and Halifax um, that we just worked on safety first in our own 25 and unfortunately again onto it we were still playing safety first in their 25 so if we'd uh, worked a bit more on, the, on attack maybe again onto it then we probably would have well stuffed them you know but um, we've worked on that very very hard this week I mean it's we're having them in all day or you can have them in all day it gives you the time to spend like you know, normally when you come at night you're trying to get everything into an hour and a half where if you had the time you know you've got three or four hours in the day 
and you can have a good look at the video, you can have a good chat, you can then get out on the park and do it. And as much as we worked out, we worked very hard on defence early on in the week, but we worked on the attack the last couple of times, which I think has been, the defence has been a lot better, but I also think that like, if you're controlling the ball, and if your attack's good, and everybody knows what they're doing, and you're not spilling the ball, like, I don't get onto it, we spilt the ball five times on the first tackle, um, about another four or five on the second, and the same on the third. Whereas today, I think we've only dropped, lost it once and maybe twice on the first tackle. It makes a lot of difference. It's five less tackles you've got to do. Um, because the tackle count again, so everybody was down in the 20s, where normally they're up around the 28, 30 mark. So that tells them its own story that we just didn't control the ball. But there was a lot of pressure on them with them being new lads and losing the first two. And a lot of them went to a big club like Leeds, so they were under a bit of pressure. But I just think today, I mean, I always set quotes of lads, it's a bit like synchronised swimming. I mean, women can put the legs out the water all at the same time. We work on the moves well enough to go to hand instead of going to the floor. And you've got to have a few things to break the game up. Because that's what I thought was, I mean, okay, I'd have put a lot of work in there, but I thought they lacked basically ideas. They just kept coming one up, one up, and hoping to pick up something. Now, they would have never scored.